one and a half mil. We're stacking up all the big rains. No, all jokes aside, we are more than grateful for any moisture we receive at this time of the year. And hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So yeah, there was some surprise drizzle this morning, which was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting uh, to wake up this morning and uh, see it raining like it was. So anyway, uh, we'll take, like I said, we'll take it all. We'll take whatever we can get. But what I want to do today, because the wind is pretty shocking for the rest of the week, and also we are expecting some rain on Thursday, maybe up to 10 millimeters. So not a lot, but I tell you, any rain at this time of the year equals yield. Now, the only problem with that rain is that the three days after it, we're forecast to get some pretty severe frosts, um, not a temperature over one degree in the mornings for three days in a row and a negative one. So that's going to be really bad for the barley, probably under canola. Uh, hopefully we can get out of it. We're in pretty good country here. It might get cold, but for some reason the frost doesn't tend to settle all that well here. We'll just keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope that um, it works out. But just want to come up and check this pasture here because it is Right grass heaven, but just yeah, see what it's like after that bit of rain this morning. Uh, make sure I can get out on it, which I don't think will be a problem now, but you, this is why we left this paddock out this year. Because what you see here is pretty much all rye grass growing in this paddock. There's a little bit of volunteer wheat from last year, but all this matter green is generally rye grass. So that's why there's no crop in here this year. I mean, yeah, I could have done a break crop and gone to beans or something, but you just can't compete with that much rye grass. That's insane. So give this paddock a break for a year. We'll spray it out now. I can serve some moisture and everything for next year and uh, put some beans in here. Yeah, hopefully we can get a good kill in here. That'll be my first job for the week. We have had a slow start to the week here because we had a catastrophic washing machine failure. Stacy's been out to a, uh, a uh, bank appointment this morning, so as well. So we've had to go and get a new washing machine and uh, get that all sorted out. But anyway, that's life. So I've just got to run in quickly and grab some outright spray adjuvant. It's just like it's just a wetter, so it just helps the chemicals stay on the leaves of the plant basically when you spray it on. So particularly today we're just using Roundup, so or glyphosate, so we just that's gonna help that stick onto the leaves and do the best job that it can basically. But I don't have any in the shed, so we'll run in and grab some and uh, get it knocked off. Yeah, look, I don't know, guys. There's probably three or four main wetters that we use, and I should just keep, like, at least one tens of everything here on hand all the time. But I'm a prisoner of elders being two kilometres, three kilometres away from here, and it just gets messy because half the spraying's mine, half the spraying's dad, and, who, you know, who pays for what? It's, it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it's just easier to go and get what you need and be done with it. Like, like five? What about, was there 10? No, no, it's not. Seven or eight, Mum said. No, it's not. There's lots, that's good. Really, I'm just hanging around outside and stuff. You're just hanging around outside and stuff? Yeah, we are. Yeah. I'm gonna go spraying now. I gotta go do some spray topping. Yeah. Yeah. We love it outside. It's sunny and it's not Yeah. Outside. It's better than it was this morning. Yeah. I think we're gonna have a change of plans here coming up. Dad was just driving past this vet here and he noticed it looked like there was some disease in it. Uh, he hopped out and had a look. Apparently, chock a block full of aphids, which is very strange. Um, I wouldn't have thought it's been a great aphid year. Maybe they're enjoying the milder conditions and uh, sort of 
there's been a little bit of moisture around maybe that's sort of been ideal for them i don't really know but after i spray this i'm gonna have to decontaminate this and we're gonna have to go and spray some insecticide which is not a big drama because i've just got a recommendation from the agronomist soon to do an insecticide and a fungicide on the beans for canopy closure so it was gonna have to happen anyway um, but uh, yeah we'll try and get a hold of the agro see what he says and we'll go get this knockdown done and get back and go from there Dad was just driving past the fetch there near the house and uh, he said it looked a bit funny. He hopped out and had a look and said it is absolutely covered in aphids. Uh, so he's just we're just wondering what we'd have to do, what you'd recommend spraying over that because yeah we want to get it done ASAP because he said that is absolutely covered like as bad as he's seen sort of thing. Neighbours barley there looking very nice coming out in head. I tell you. These frosty mornings we're going to get are not going to be good for that barley. I think the wheat will probably be alright because that's still not out in head, it's not flowering, so I don't think there'll be any issues there, but geez, I'll tell you what, for the canola and even maybe the beans and the barley, it will, you know, it could get ugly. So we are done in here now. Uh, I've just run some fresh water through to the tank sprinkler up the top to wash any of the chemical down to the bottom and then I've sprayed that out at a light rate across the paddock. So I just got to run a bit of fresh water through the boom now and then when we get back we just got to do a, uh, we'll just get the firefighter, rinse the tank out again, run a bit more fresh water through it and then we should be right to do our insecticide after that because what we had in here today was 1.5 litres of Roundup per hectare and a sniffer ester. So we want all of that out of the tank so that we can go and do our insecticide on our vetch because we don't want to damage our vetch. But I reckon if we push hard now, we might actually be able to get that insecticide out tonight, which would be fantastic. So even if I got to do it in the evening a little bit, it won't be too much of a problem. But anyway, we've got to get some products probably, so it might be a trip back to Elders. What are you doing, Mutt? This looks glorious. It's the go. Jeeps, what have you been doing? Gardening. You've been busy in the garden, have you? You look like it. Yeah, no. Yeah, that sounds delicious. What are you guys having? An ice cream? A nice block? A nice mm, Delicious. I don't have anything for them, so I don't know why they're following me. We'll go see if we can see the aphid damage as well quickly, and um, yeah, we'll just make sure we've got whatever products we need. Holy smokes! All that black there. That is aphids. They are not supposed to be there. No wonder. Wow. That is really bad. They are all over everything. Yes, I think we should uh, get onto this ASAP. Well, this has been quite the change of plans, but hashtag farming, I guess. Trojan, Trojan, Trojan. Plenty of Trojan. Dimethoate, which I don't think I've got. Nope. Looks like a trip back to Elders. I don't think I've seen aphids that bad on vet, although I don't think I've ever, I don't think I really remember, especially since I've been back on the farm, us having to spray any aphids off vetch ever. Beans, yeah, for sure. 2020 was a shocking year for it, but uh yeah it's a bit weird that they're going after that and we just had the aggro out today he netted the beans and there's nothing really on the beans so it's funny like that isn't it and they're right next door but anyway interesting all right we're 
we're just running a little bit more clean water through the boom now and then we are done. I've flushed the tank about four times, so we should be cherry ripe. And I think we'll just go and do it in the morning because the wind looks pretty favourable in the morning. Rightio, we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning! simple brew this morning there guys just uh, 400 mil of one chemical 30 mil of another just tipped it straight in the top of the tank and we're away but the wind is not quite as calm as what they were saying this morning but it's not too bad and like this is only an insecticide here but I think we've actually got to do two paddocks this morning now because dad found some red legged earth mites in another paddock that are causing some problems Sorry, just had to turn, but that's what we think actually happened in here. Um, the red leggers got in and they uh, did some damage and then the aphids have moved in and it's just sort of on the, near the uh, road up there where they've come from. So uh, they've come in, caused a bit of damage, weakened the plant and then the aphids have moved in and that's why it's only on this paddock of vetch really. But he said he found quite bad patches of red legs in another paddock of vetch up uh, in Ramsin. So, I think we're gonna to have to go up there and give that a hit just so we don't end up with the same problem up there. And uh, red-legged earth mite, for anyone who's not really aware, is a tiny little bug, and they're definitely way more prevalent in your broadleaf crops, so like vetch here, and they jump on the leaves, they do damage to the leaves, and they basically ruin the solar panel in a way. So that green, nice green leaf, they sit on there and they feed on it, and then it goes sort of a whitish brown, they take that that green covering off of it and then it can't um, absorb the sunlight and that as well so they get on there they've damaged it and then uh, they, a weakened plant is exactly what an aphid likes so the aphids moved in right let's go and knock this off before this wind gets out of control As forecast we are getting a bit of a shot of rain today and I also did put the camera down yesterday because yes we did find another paddock that needed to be sprayed <laughs> I thought that's quite enough spraying this is not supposed to be a spraying video but anyway we're gonna get back home now and we're gonna go back down and we're gonna get that cleaning fan job done on the 9770 and then I think we might call this a video from there well hasn't this been quite the uh, long drawn-out process to get this done this is why I get my machinery maintenance done, try and get it done well in advance for this exact reason. Clearly I wasn't thinking too hard about where that grease nipple was facing. I think I can still get it on there, but it's it's annoying me. I think I I think I might change it. <laughs> That's better. Right. 
I'm probably being a little bit pedantic changing these little grease seals in the end here, but I've got it apart, so it's going, they're going in. Now, I have kind of mixed everything up there on the bench, so now I've got to try and remember how this all goes back together. But I'm sure we'll get there. A bit of the slippery stuff. Have a look at that, you beauty. Just about home. Now I hope this has looked nice and quick for you guys because I can tell you, for me, it has not been quick. And uh, I've had to pull things back apart that I've put back together because I pulled this all apart so long ago that I can't remember. <laughs> now things go back together, but anyway, we're almost there, almost there. Now for the fun part, but I'm not looking forward to doing this, but it ain't gonna lift itself on. Ah. Oh man. Oh. Two people would be very nice for this, but Dad's probably at the uh, Jamestown markets today looking at how badly all the sheep are doing price-wise, so that's handy. My goodness this thing has been a pain in the backside to get on. I think I finally got it to where I can get these bolts in. I had to pull it, get those bolts at the front started and pull it all the way forward because I couldn't get this up high enough at the back. Bloody nightmare. Alrighty guys, that job is done. Now, thank goodness, that was a bloody nightmare down under there, but we got her back on. Um, we'll wait and see what Mother Nature has to throw at us over the next three or four weeks as to whether we spend much more money on this thing. There's always money that you can spend on these things. Still got to get the draper on pre-season that, but you know, the bulk of it's uh, done now, which is good, so. A nice little shot of rain today. I think we've only had about 10 millimetres so far. I was sort of hoping, looking at the forecast, that we were gonna end up with maybe 15 plus, but the day is not done yet. So they're still talking the chance of showers and that tonight. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. September rain's where it's at. Rain at this time of the year equals yield. So we need it and we'll take it. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. That's all I got. Um, if you wanna support the channel, just consider liking the video and subscribing, that helps me out. And until next time, have a good one. We'll see you then.